Hello guys, this is Satvik and in this video we'll be discussing about white space technography. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. And if you want to be part of this channel's community, you can check out my Discord server. And if you want to be uh, follow me personally, you can check out my Twitter. All the links are in the description below. And also, if you do end up liking this video, make sure you like it and do share so that we can beat the YouTube algorithm and reach more people. And coming to this video, so this video is mostly based on white space technography. So this is a concept in which you try to, uh, like you take a normal text file, okay, a file which consists of some sort of text, okay, and you try to add some file. So technography is like uh, mentioning some file or whatever you can call it, some message within some files, right? So technography, to be honest, like you deal with images. So you try to uh, mention some message within an image and with the password protection. So Stexno is something like that. So you try to uh, embed that message uh, at the end of line, like in the spaces, tabs or in the indentation or wherever it is. OK, so this is like an encoding format. So recently I sold a machine called a Stegno from uh, a Trahackme and I uh, discovered this tool. So Stexno. Uh, so yeah, you can read all the documentation here so this is like how it uh, appends the data and some sort of stuff like that so like pretty simple so you have that like normal text file and it tries to add an image a uh, message in a uh, tab spaces or indentation or wherever it is possible for it okay so you can find this text now on uh, ubuntu as well as on your kali so you can pretty installation is pretty pretty simple so apt installs text now and uh, you'd be good to go and these are some few options and also guys i will leave the link for this uh, uh man manual page in the description below so you can go there and check that out so you can see there is an option hyphen c this is used for like uh, extracting as well as like mentioning the file so it is it and you can provide a password or you can mention what type of message you want to uh, uh, like conceal or like protect with okay and uh, you can see some version and some sort of stuff and you even have some examples over here so let's dive into the practical part here so uh, let me uh, open my ubuntu so i have my ubuntu wsl on here so so i just let me enlarge it okay so text no okay hyphen hyphen help so i already installed that okay so you have few options over here so let's create a file okay so let's create a simple file so nano uh, nano uh, side.txt for example okay so i'll put satvik something like that control s and control x so if i do an ls you can see there is a side.txt file over here if i do cat it's side.txt so uh, that's what satvik is in the side.txt and now let's try to embed some message uh, some sort of password and with uh, uh, like you can even provide the password but uh, i'll provide the password for example but you can try without as well okay even without the password it works fine so sticks no okay so hyphen c is like mandatory option like whether if you want to encrypt or like uh, like in order to stuff it or in order to extract it this c is like important option so let's put a message like uh, satvik123 let's assume this is some sort of password uh, like for example the message is some sort of a password for example so or else i'll don't make it confused okay so i'll put something like hello world okay and i want to protect with the password called like uh, satvik1 for example it is like pretty delicate password but uh, for the time being okay so now you can see uh, you need to provide the input file okay so uh, with the compression and uh, like what is the input file okay and uh, what is the output file so input file is sci.txt and the output file is like uh, uh, steg.txt okay so i'll explain it once again so i'm going to uh, uh, embed it embed this particular message hello world and the password is satvik1 and the file that i'm providing is satvik.txt and the output file that i'm uh, that i want is like stack.txt so let me hit enter so extra two lines were added okay so let's do this thing so if i do an ls you can see there is stack.txt if i do cat stack.txt you can see that there are few spaces over here so if i do cat side.txt like just for comparison sake you can see uh, there are some few lines of like three lines i guess some 
three lines of spaces were added here but the side of txt like uh, by the original file doesn't has any spaces or whatever it is okay some indentation or whatever it is so whenever you are doing some ctfs and when you find some files okay with uh, which has some sort of like uh, spaces like which is weird spacing sort of thing or uh, some sort of like junk lines over here and there so you can try this uh, uh, text no okay so that being said so now we uh, like embedded the message there so now let's try to extract it okay so let same text no like you can follow the documentation guys okay so hyphen c okay hyphen p the password is going to be satvik1 okay that is the password that we given and we need to provide the uh, file okay you can see this is the message okay pretty simple you can see the message over here so this is how you can extract it but let us assume uh, you don't know the password for example let me remove this password option it is going to ask you for the password no it is not going to ask you for the password like it is printing some uh, random stuff over here so that is it like if you provide the password then it is going to extract the message uh, to the what you already provided okay so even without password also it will try to extract but don't get uh, it is not guarantee over there okay okay so and there is something like uh, uh, like you can even provide the length as well like uh, if you see the previous thing uh, the length is like bit more i guess like uh, it's increased like 30 uh, 36.6 uh, compression rate or sort of thing like if you do an ls hyphen la we can see the exact length uh, size you can to be precise so you can see side.txt is like uh, uh, 8 kb this is like 89 kb okay here uh, with this option l you can uh, line length or some you can specify some options over here okay so these are not much uh, useful you know like for creation these are useful but uh, in the re in the ctfs and sort of stuff those are not much required so that being said though this is how like a uh, white space technography is like implemented as well as like like you can embed like this as well as you can extract like this with the tool called as textno and uh, installation and everything the manual pages and all the links will be in the description below and also i'll leave the link for the challenge that is solved so in the free time you can sol uh, solve it so it is based on technography so photos technography like uh, photos technography so and also this textno you uh implement all this stuff and you try to cap uh, you try to access the ac uh, access uh, what you say initial access into the machine so that being said guys really thank you for watching till the end this is satvik signing off and i'll meet you in the next video thank you